Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a build.bat file to automate building your Java project in Windows. So the Java build file is really a Windows batch file that's used to automate building your Java project when you have a fairly complex project with a whole bunch of Java files in it. And you don't want to compile each file and everything manually. So the build file can help you automate all that. So here we have a folder with a handful of Java files in it. Let's say we want to delete all these class files first, and then we want to compile all the Java files, and we want to run one of the Java files. And there's multiple steps that we go through every time, and if we're doing it from the command prompt, it gets kind of tedious. So uh, let's, let me show you how to do a build file that can automate all that process. First of all, I use um, Notepad++. We'll just open a text file. We'll create a new file called build.bat, and we're going to save it into that folder. And look, here's a comment. You can use colon colon and you can put a comment. We'll say this is our first Windows batch file and this is a comment. The next thing I'll teach you is you can use echo. It's a command line command so you can use echo to repeat something back to the screen. Now let's try and run this and see how it works. We just type build at the command line when we're in that folder and we get an echo back all done. So we can type CLS and we can add that to our file. That will clear the screen. Clear screen. So that starts up at the top every time. Now let's go back and add some more commands. Echo, deleting class files. That's just a message to ourselves so that we can see that when it's executing. And then we'll delete star.class, which is going to delete everything that ends in dot class. Right, all the class files, we'll just delete them so that when we compile, we don't have to worry about overwriting any class files. When we run our build file, again, it clears the screen. It runs, we delete all the class files after our echo message, and then all done. Let's add some more commands. Now we can echo compiling. And we'll add a command Java C, which is Java compile star.java. So compile all the Java files in that folder. So let's save that and run it. Okay. Now see when we deleted the class files here, it didn't find any class files because we'd previously deleted them. But now we have compiled everything, so there are definitely class files in the folder. And then we echo it's all done. Now let's see if we can actually run the Java file. We'll add one more line here. Run, let's say we run the quicksort Java file. We'll save that and run it. Great. So now we're going through deleting all the class files, compiling all the Java files in that folder with the Java C star.java command, and then we're executing the Java quicksort program. And then we get an echo back that it's all done. So that is a simple build.batch file. It's a Windows batch file, and you can use this to automatically build your files if you're using Notepad++ or some other text editor to develop your code in, like I do. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.